Today, I will explain to you the working of an electric motor. An electric motor is a device which is used to convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. Uh, this one is a small electric motor. It consists of mainly, we can open it. The main parts of electric motor is an armature. This is the armature. Okay. It is actually a soft iron core on that insulated copper wire is wound. Here the green colored one is the insulated copper wire and the armature is also fitted with an axle so that the rotation of the armature can be used for giving power for any external device. And inside this one there is a magnet and the armature will be kept between the magnets. If we pass current through the armature coil and the coil is kept inside a magnetic field, it will experience a force and due to the force the armature will rotate. To pass current through the armature, we have two brushes here. These two wires can be connected to the two poles of a battery, positive and negative terminals of a battery and here there are two brushes, this brush 1 and this brush 2. When we fix this on the motor, the two brushes are in contact with the two half rings, two split rings which are connected to the two ends of the armature. So here you can see the two ends of the green colored insulated copper wire is connected to two rings here, two half rings. This ring is cylindrical one is split here and one end will be connected to the one end of the green insulated copper wire and the other end to the next end of the copper wire. And when current passes through this one, it will experience a force and due to the force the armature rotates between the magnets. The direction of force experienced on the armature we can obtain from Fleming's left hand rule. According to Fleming's left hand rule, we have to stretch the three fingers of left hand in mutually perpendicular direction like this here, the thumb, index finger and the middle finger. So if the index finger, if it represents the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger the direction of current and the thumb will represent the direction of force acting or the direction of deflection of the conductor. Now this we can explain with the diagram. So in the case of uh, an electric motor, first we can draw the armature. Armature, it is a soft air uh, core and the windings of insulated copper wire together is called an armature. So this is the armature, and the center part is soft end core. This is soft end core. And the armature, we can name it as A, B, C, D. This is the armature. And the two ends of the wire of the armature is connected to two split rings, half rings like this. So this is ring 1 and this is ring 2. The ring 1 is in contact with the brush, the brush B1 and the ring 2 is in contact with the brush B2. And the two brushes can be connected with wires to an electric supply. For that we can connect a battery with a key like this. And the armature should be kept between two poles of a magnet. Suppose we have two magnets with the north and south pole. So these are the main parts of a generator. The armature, armature is a insulated copper wire wound on a soft end core. 
the two ends of the wires are connected to rings R1 and R2. The ring R1 will be in contact with the brush B1 and R2 in contact with the brush B2. The armature is kept in between the poles, north and south poles of the magnet. Now, when we pass electricity through the wire, we can see the direction of electricity from positive to negative. So, as per the given electrical connection, current will be passing through the armature in this direction. So, when the current passes through the armature in the direction A, B, C, D, as shown in the figure, okay, it will experience a force. The direction of force we can obtain again by the left hand row. Here the direction of magnetic field is from north to south, that is the index finger. And the current is flowing upward, that is showing the direction of current is shown with the middle finger. Now you can see my thumb is pointing into the board. So the side AB, the arm AB of the armature will experience a force into the board, perpendicular into the board. And the side CD, you can see here the current is flowing downward. The magnetic field is again same north to south. So the CD is getting a force in the outward direction. So these two forces acting, one side inward the board and CD outside the board. It will act like a torque and due to the torque the armature will rotate. When one half rotation completes, the ring R2 will reach at the brush B1 and ring R1 will reach at the brush B2 means they will interchange the position. So when the ring ring R2 reaches at V1, when this means when the CD reaches here, the current again flows in the upward direction. So when the CD reaches here, the current is flowing upward, so the CD will get again force into the board. And the side AB reaches at this side, means the ring R1 reaches at the brush V2. When the ring R1 reaches at the V2, AB reaches to right side, Again, at that, so when AB reaches here, the current is flowing down. So that when AB reaches at right side, the force will be out of the board. So always at the left side, there will be forced into the board, and always at this right side, the force will be outside of the board. It will give a constant torque in the same direction because of that, the armature will keep on rotating. So on the armature center part, we are connecting an axle over here. And to the axle, we can connect any external device like a fan or any other washing machine, juice mixer, anything, so that we can deliver the rotation or kinetic energy of rotation to the external device. Uh, here, uh, this device is just opposite to the generator. In generator, it is converting mechanical energy into electrical energy. But here electric motor, it converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. It is a main component in most of the devices which use any kind of rotation by using electricity. Like washing machine, uh, juice mix mix mixer, uh, any CD player, inside computer, in fans, etc. In commercial motor, powerful electric motor, uh, instead of using this permanent magnets like this north and south, we can use a powerful electron magnet. And keeping more number of turns in the armature and using a soft air with a large size soft air core, we can increase the power of rotation of the electric motor. And it is it can be used for a different purpose according to